And just because you enjoyed it doesn't mean you're not straight. So stop worrying about it. I'm hard right now. Welcome back! Season three! Season three, we did it! <laughs> wow, episode 81. So many millions of people listening right now. Holy shit, I'm overwhelmed, man. <laughs> I don't even know what... I don't even know where to begin right now. There's just so much to talk about. We had a fun oh. little break. Well, yeah, we had some time off. <sighs> we, we went on the boys' trip. It was a lovely place. Matt was there. Yeah. <sighs> tell us some highlights, Matt. Can we oh. tell everyone that you did drugs on the boys' trip, Matt? Or would you prefer that we leave that out? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> so much Bravo. excite. Yeah, we went on the boys trip. We had a night on on the look, we aren't on the we, diesel. We aren't fucking back to our pool, full party ways by no means. So we thought we'd treat ourselves for being such good boys at the end of last year and we had a just cheeky little half night. It wasn't a full night, half night. Half night. Yeah, it wasn't like a proper hard out <sighs> yeah, raging. We, we, we didn't yeah, we did stop on the blow pretty early. But we were up till like 6 a.m. On the first night? At 5, 4 a.m. Yeah, we were up pretty late. We were oh, discussing yeah, that's right. a lot we were, of things. You, us three and James were all in that room talking shit. The for library, we call it. The library, or the reading room. But then the other nights, we weren't the, like we just watched movies and yeah, fucking smoked stoned. a bit of weed. And, um, the yeah. place was amazing. Yeah, yeah, the, the place, cinema room. Let me tell you, man. That place, right, was good. <laughs> oh, Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good house You can put it in the good house category I played a bit of video games in the Yeah, Matt, Matt finished, started and finished the UFC career on the UFC game And uh, what else? Are we we played a lot of golf during our holiday Other than the boys trip, what else did we do? Wasn't there something else that we did? Oh, yeah, me, I went away with my girlfriend Esther for a little bit I bought fucking seasons one to nine of one tree hill yeah great purchase what are you up to now i'm about halfway through the first season i'm pretty fucking over it already really it's not as good surely as it, it gets better though kid. surely yeah, it gets it, better yeah i'm sure it does but I'm, I'm i'm finding it hard it's like yeah <laughs> Bravo, dude. Oh. And we're back. Right. Whoa. Yeah, it's not as good as I remember. Like, it's like anything. When you're a kid, it's better. And then as you get older, it's like, what the fuck was I thinking? Smart. Anyway, pretty fun holidays. So much shame. No, that was beautiful, dude. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Because I don't know about it, eh? No, it's Sometimes good. I think it's really gross and disgusting. <laughs> no. I don't it's know lovely. whether I should do that anymore. It's special. Not many people can rip their asshole apart and still make a sound that tight. I don't know about my f my future. <laughs> no, yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Future's for the future. Okay, all right. I trust you boys, all right? I trust you with that. I'll keep doing it, okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good boy. It hurts a lot. Yeah, it's okay. So have a fucking heart attack one day. <laughs> um, also, this year we got some fucking we got some sick shit lined up. Right, he's got a fucking broken rib again. The dumb fucking cunt. <laughs> You were there, Matt. The fucking dumb cunt's got a fucking dumb bitch broken fucking hey. rib on the other side. You fucking idiot. <laughs> we're filming Ooh. a series this year, right? We're <coughs> upping the quality. Production. Everything about a social... We'll still put out weekly social media videos, but at the moment we're working on a one to ten episode series called Which Sport is the Scariest, right? And we do, we pick, we've picked the ten most violent sports... And then we pick, <coughs> we contact a ex-athlete or ex-professional or current professional in that sport and get them to do a video with us, all right? Now, I don't want to say too much, but we've got Anthony Mundine for the boxing episode. And Michael broke his rib because we had, I don't know if, if, if anyone watches Rugby Union, Saya Fainga. Saya Fainga. How do you really say it? <coughs> 
Saya Fainga. No, do the fucking give it spirit. Saya Fainga. He's, spirit. He's one of the twins. He's a twin. He's Wallabies player. He's played like a hundred tests for the Wallabies, and he's known to just fucking fuck dogs fucking snap cunts in half he's put like fucking hundred dudes in hospital he's a fucking you wouldn't think it looking at him you know he's, you, you, oh, he's pretty big he's fucking big he's definitely he's like 100, 115 kilos but looking at him I was like oh okay it's not so bad huh it's not so bad I knew it was gonna be bad <laughs> and he tackled Michael and fucking snapped the cunt's rib you hear it one hit clean little snap and uh, yeah, it was. It's great footage, and I fully bitched out. I fully bitched out after seeing that. That was. It's. It's hard to go second. I'm. Yeah. Not, I'm gonna nominate myself to go first from now on because. Oh, it just like in the. Yeah, I don't think I just like in the second. in the gridiron episode. You freaked out when you see me. Yeah. Fly off that fucking monster yeah for the gridiron episode the dude weighed 160 kilos that's double more than double my weight so that would be like the equivalent of like us having like bosley run at us like on his hind legs or like a little eight-year-old yeah a little fucking 10 year old little girl that's that's what it would have been like for him oh anyway also um you may have noticed some of you may have noticed we've uh we've started uh, another instagram account called uh quadruple m right and uh mm. we will be marketing um medicinal marijuana products on there and there's more to come in that space all right so just follow that martin michael underscore mm on so we've, instagram we've gone from science to medicine and so we're scientific doctors now we have a little piece of paper that says that scientific doctor yeah or scientific stunt D doctors we're still working title yeah, right we'll figure it out also guys we've also started an instagram specifically for the podcast martin and michael fully actual so i'm gonna give that a follow we'll just be using that for updates and shit like that um fucking plus let's just get this the sponsorship stuff out of the way and then we can move on to the fucking the good shit oh this is pretty. This is pretty. The no, sponsorships. Well, let's be honest. It's kind of. It's a bit boring. Most people are switching off their eyes and ears. These sponsors are some to stick around for. Whew, here we go, Martin and Michael. This episode we're sponsored by Manscaped. All right, they do the. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of them. The male grooming shit. Right, right here you've got a fucking ball trimmer. Now this ball trimmer is waterproof. I used it the other night. It doesn't cut at all. I had no. no he was bleeding. trying to. He was trying to cut his wrists with them. No, on your balls, they don't even cut. Look, look, look at this. I'm, I'm putting it against my wrist and nothing. So if you're suicidal, don't buy them. But if you want clean, smooth testicles and you like to shave your fucking testicles in the shower, go to manscaped.com. Use our discount code fully actual. All one word, fully actual. You get 20% off plus. Free shipping anywhere in the world except for New Zealand. Look at this shit. You no, I'm get, kidding. New Zealand, you're in as well. You get ball toner. You get ball deodorant. Here, let's have a look at this. Nice after. <laughs> um, if so, yeah. If you want, if you're like needing a new shaver or something, just fucking help us out by buying some of these with our discount code. If you're gonna buy one anyway, and then fucking we all win. You know what I mean? Because you and get it for cheaper. It's a great product. And here's a ball mop. They got oh, little wow. mops for your testicles. Can I use one? Yeah, of course you can. And helping them helps the podcast. That's exactly right, Matthew Brown. That is exactly right. So that's sponsor one. So go and help yourself to some Manscaped products, all right? <laughs> all right, the second sponsor. Oh, Michael's really getting in there. God. <laughs> is, is it nice? That is distracting. That is sickening. Does it feel nice? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was hot. <laughs> Stop it. Um, so yeah, get some fucking manscaped up your guts and they will continue to sponsor this podcast, which helps us in return. Matthew Brown. What's the underwear they put in there as well? Oh yeah, you get free undies. Or not free. Yeah, that, depending that on what you order, you get some cool free shit that, you know, you got a little fucking, what's in here, eh? What a, what a bloody have a look in here. A little bit of a, what's this, eh? What have we got in here? Oh, it's the charger. It's the charger for the fucking, for the fucking shaver, right? Uh, and you got a little look, a little toiletry bag. Look at that. Fucking... Perfect. Fucking boom. All right? So they'll continue to sponsor the podcast if you just go and use the discount code to buy some of their shit. Manscaped.com. Discount code. Fully actual. This is also... We, now, great segue 
for us to mention that this podcast is also sponsored by our very own University of Markle, where we are now posting fucking ginormous vlogs. 20 minute, 30 minute the vlogs. The last one was 40 minutes long. So this is like our entire week. We film bits every day and we put it all together at the, uh, for an entire week. So you get to see behind the scenes of everything. We include all extended cuts of all our social media videos. It's fucking, it's fucking good. Like yeah, it's it is. fucking like I'm actually last year we sort of breezed over it was like oh yeah you know we got this fucking subscription it's it's not bad now it's now fucking, it's like so much funner because we can just film our fucking and like the episodes now Julian's fuckery Julian's fucking turn them into like a TV episode he does a good job they're fuck it's good shit you can sign up for free and have a look to see if you like it so just fucking go and have a look universitymarkle.com right and since this podcast is free and if you do want to support us most of our shit is free. Help us out by subscribing to that. Okay, and that is that is all we'll say about that, all right? But just fucking do it. Yeah, no, yeah. It de- we demand it. And help our Manscaped friends out. Anyway, enjoy anyway, the podcast from right, now guys, on. That's the end of we episode have- one. <laughs> <laughs> no, imagine that cunt! <laughs> Now, now we have a fucking fun thing to well, do. Well, let's explain what we're going to do for the episode, man. Let's let everyone know so that everyone's Can doesn't want to leave. This, please? Yeah. All right, we'll move it. We'll leave some of the products out here. Oh, this box can just ball fucking deodorant. Fucking shit. All right, so for this episode, we got a few new segments. We're going to trial them, see how we go. Going with the flow, man. We're trying to be much cooler this season. Yeah, yeah look, going with the flow. We've changed the letters from rainbow yeah. to like a, a slick black with lights in it. <laughs> and we've removed every most things from the table. So if you want to send us some shit, use our PO box. <laughs> yeah, we're going to, for going new season, new start. Going with the flow. Hang ten. We've also got a segment where I aggressively read German phrases. Can't wait. That was sent in by Nikki, one of our fans, wasn't That's it? That's right. Yeah. That is correct, Matthew Brown. We also, Look how many she did. We'll that also, would have taken ages. We also have some cool shit sent via the P.O. box during the, our break, which will uh, open a few things today. And the rest, we got Arnold Fine making a return on the prank call. He's going to try and buy a house. And fuck, questions, we got fucking... It's just a big... Oh, and our brand new segment, which I can't wait to get into. It's a new segment called The Hunt. Oh yeah, and that's fucking. You wait. You st- I'm not even going to explain that. You have to stick around. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's good. And be cool, man. Be cool. Remember. Feels like the fucking table's wonky. Is it, Matt? It's no. Like the clang it's bump. it's fucking perfect. Am I really shiny right. on camera, Matt? No, you're good. Okay. Well, I'm sweating a lot. Look at that. It's from the wig, Mister Clang Clang. The wig. The hot lights. Hello, I'm Dr. Warren. Right, I'm taking this wig off. Oh, it's so good. Just like that. Yes. Uh, I liked it better before. Now it's like an emo f- blonde fringe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember emos? Yeah, they're still kicking. Remember that emo you followed home and put his dog in a potato sack and beat it against the tree because you didn't like emos? <laughs> what? Yeah. Yep. Anyway, what's next? Ah, uh, we're, <laughs> we're up to on this day. <laughs> on this day has returned. It has returned. And wow, there is some... There's, there's some shit that I don't know happened. Happened. And if it weren't for Matt's research skills, this would be a shit segment. But he's very good at researching. There's, there's some shit here that's just like, how did we not hear about that? Well, there's been a lot of COVID and shit like that. In this is stuff from years ago, some of it. Oh, really? Oh, dark, man. Dark web research. There you go. Wow. <clears throat> you have access to that. Well, there's ways. Dude, uh, that's hot. Uh, this first one um, is actually quite sad, so we might um, just have a moment of silence after it. But, uh, and this is the first I've ever read about this. I had no idea this place even existed. But uh, on this day in 2014, so seven years ago today, we remember the victims of the Fahala Massacre, where 19 people were fucked to death by seven massive African bodybuilders. They were high on a concoction of meth and extra strong Viagra and stormed a special needs facility after a night of partying. Let us share a moment's silence while we picture the seven huge bodybuilders high on meth violently fucked their way through 19 innocent, mentally impaired people. How old were they? They were ranging in ages, but let's just have a moment's silence. 
What, sort of, how old was the youngest? Really picture it. Picture that happening. Well, okay, I need the ages. Shh, okay. Come on, just think of the... No, no, stay away. Stay away from me. Uh, Sounds like that. Disgusting. Disgusting people. There's some really... It's just sad that that happens still. <laughs> well, fuck, has it happened since then? Well, you know, it was only seven years ago, but like... Man. What, how, how, many, how many years did they go away? Bodybuilding in general, like, it really fucks with your hormones. And, you know, you miss, mix meth with it and Viagra. It, you know, it's not... Stormed well, a special needs facility. Well, like... Of all things. Did they go for life or you're asking the wrong person I'd never even heard of it Matt researched all this did oh, you is there footage of it can we watch any footage hard to find dark web alright we'll take so the word from Matt okay. we're not going to put that on come on we don't want to no, do no, that I to people for us to watch on this day in 2018 Morgan Freeman battled for his life when a stray cat entered his house <laughs> The stray cat slashed deep bloody veins into his back as Morgan ran for his life. Morgan remembered that cats hate fire and set the fucking thing ablaze. In fact, it probably made sounds a lot like this. And it says here, Matt, to demonstrate the sounds of the cat. <laughs> so, what would, what'd you, what would the sounds be like of a burning cat? Meow. Oh, you oh come on, Matt. <laughs> come on, you, wouldn't have Matt! Written, you wouldn't have written that at the end unless you had something you, had you actually something really plan. wanted to demo. Come on, put your fucking lungs into it, Matt. You, you've, I heard you practicing outside. <laughs> what? Come on, Matt. Do the what? sounds of a burning cat, Matt. Come on. Hey, I'm just going to picture a burning cat. Yeah, that's it. Picture the fucking thing running around the house on fire. <laughs> come on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's pretty good. <sighs> truly, truly. You've done that. You've fucking set a cat on fire before. Are you Morgan Freeman? Next. On this day in 2019, Sylvester Stallone ran a full marathon on his knees to raise awareness for autistic apes. He dragged his knees along roads for 42 kilometers, which resulted in his kneecaps being completely worn off. He now uses those Jew hats as kneecaps and said if he had his time over again, he would not have done it. <laughs> Do gorillas fucking walk on their knees? No, it's just... I don't know. <laughs> what are you asking me for? Matt? It's a very weird thing to do, don't you think, Matt? He must have been on the old... And Jew hats for kneecaps? Like, are they hard? I've never touched one, but they are like perfect kneecaps. Yeah, they're they're comfy. Yeah, they're probably... You can get different sort of types. You can get different sizes too, I bet you that. Yeah, I bet you that for free. Small heads. I bet you that for free. Uh, on this day <laughs> On this day in 2015 Kim Kardashian connected a car battery To her electric toothbrush The bristles spun at such a velocity That they shattered her teeth and grated her tongue The fast spinning bristles even created a small black hole Which leads to a spot back in time Before she was married to Kanye She vi visits that time quite frequently And sometimes stays there for days At a time when Kanye's Alzheimer's flares up And makes him difficult to love Wow, that's fucking deep. Man, that's getting, like science, man. Like she could fucking seriously be on our team or some shit. Are they getting divorced? Write her an email. Yeah, I'll fax it. Are they getting divorced? It wouldn't surprise. I me. heard a rumor. It's Kanye has Alzheimer's. He's really out of control. I was reading Woman's Day, but I oh, you can't rumor. trust that shit. <laughs> Oh, look, they're better than a current affair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the Daily Mail. Mail. I don't mind the Daily Mail now after they said one nice thing out of fifty. About us. Oh, really? Have they done a story on us? Yeah, the Didn't coin they do car. The coin car. Mm, a nice the thing. Car they said about a nice thing, memo. Mm -hmm. By the way, everyone has been seeing the coin car, right? Man, the coin car is just. I just literally had an email today from the Korea Mail. They're doing a story on it. And like, there's fucking Facebook groups. You know, we parked at Gasworks the other day? Yeah. That got. Someone took a photo, put it in like a New Farm um, Facebook group. Went nuts again. We got to leave the sign on top when we park it. Yeah, one hundred percent. But it's scary because people might f take it off. Shh, you might just have to have it when you're driving around. No, fuck it. Well, we, we can liquid nails it on. That solves everything. 
<laughs> yeah, but I don't like driving around it on my street. It's like so arrogant. <laughs> oh, Michael. Michael, you, Michael, Michael. Michael is very particular about the reputation he has on this street. No. He I hates just, like, the neighbours thinking and anything poorly of him. No, I just went. You won't even let me stand naked in your front yard. Dude, fucking him. So He just pisses facing my neighbour's house. <laughs> It's your, it's our, it's, it's kids next door. Man, don't, just fucking control where they fucking look, cunt. If I had fucking kids, right? If I fucking had a couple of kids and they're fucking staring at some cunt pissing on his own fucking lawn across the road, I'd fucking pull them away from the fucking window and I'm fucking sitting in their fucking room, cunt. Control what your kids are looking at, you dog, cunt. Dude, there was one time he was like outside my house naked when we were in the pool for like half an hour. Just trying to dance and shit. And then one dude, the truck driver, walked past. Marty didn't see him and he fully fucking saw your dick. And you just sort of cowered away after that for a bit. Hmm. But yeah, it's I just try and make sure that everyone's comfortable. Because we went from fucking, you know. That is not arrogant. Having our sign on top of the car, coin car, it is, a, it is a work of art. And people need to know who made it. Okay. I should have a story about the coin car. Oh, here we fucking go. Oh, fuck, Matt fucking Brown. Here I heard we fucking a, go. I heard a group of police officers came up from Canberra for training and saw the coin car and got photos in front of it. You're lying. True story. Who told you that, Matt? Hmm? Where's this on your on this fucking day, cunt, huh? You doing your fucking research about the coin car? Where's the fucking on this day about it, dog? Huh? You fucking walking away, fucking dog! Where are you going? You fucking drug addict! Oh yeah, he's smart. Fucking drug See, addict. See, that's what I mean. We have fucking done mushrooms once, and he's fucking off the rails, cunt. Basically, right now, all my neighbours can probably hear this because the doors were open with the windows open. Thank you, Matt, for shutting the doors. I don't know how I feel about we that. We went angry from our last car. house, our last house. Everyone's fucking one meter away from each other, and then fucking <laughs> everyone else. We had a neighbour that tried to fucking stab Marty. So I'm just trying to make it. A little bit more chill in this neighbourhood. No, you're trying to make it much more chill than the old neighbourhood. That's what you're doing. Much more chill. Yeah, which is fine. <laughs> I guess. Okay. So we'll come to a happy medium. We will half liquid Why don't you just put a, put a the sign on. blanket on it when you're in your street and then you can take the blanket off the top. As like, I'm driving. Because I, I seriously think someone's going to no, steal no, that how, sign. No, no, no. Okay, how about we do this? We judge the feeling we have in our gut and the suburb okay so we park the car we know it's fucking uh the it's, valley it's tuesday in the valley and if you're in new farm or new market that uh sorry gas works very posh shops those we'll leave it on what are, we what even got some we got numbers that what day about too. the people listening now know that you can remove the sign yeah you've destroyed everything so oh yeah, yeah well, oi, fuck, oi, we oi, should oi, probably oi. cut it michael so let's liquid nails it on. All right? Yep. The, the sign right, is liquid settled. Nails. It's settled. Liquid nails. Uh, as soon as this podcast is done, we will liquid nails that thing down. We got to bo- we'll have to go to Bunnings to, first. Don't even bother touching it because we've got fucking CCTV footage all around the car. We do actually have that. Yeah, they're inside so, the five cent coins. Don't even bother trying. We can see you right now. <laughs> like seriously, I can see the car from here. <laughs> we can. The next segment is called oh, The Haunt! <laughs> <laughs> and this is a segment where we try and achieve a goal week by week by week. Every week we try and achieve said goal in a different way until we achieve the goal. Now and it's sort of based around hunting for someone. And you know we've had a we've had a sneaking suspicion. You guys, especially our Australian fans, you know who Hamish and Andy are, right? Everyone knows who fucking Hamish and Andy are. If you're not if you're not from Australia, look them up. Everyone always says, "Oh, you guys are like the Wish version of Hamish and Andy," don't they? They always say, "Oh, you guys are like the fucking Wish version." You know, Wish. It's it's, it's quite in- an insult. Oh yeah, but I get it. Okay, they're very very good. But then I started thinking, are they too good? And I set Michael out with a task of finding out what they are. Are we both doing it? And when they are. And Michael comes back to me and says, look, man, no one we know has ever seen them. I did right? say that. Yep. He said that to me. And I said, well, hang on. Come to think of hang it. Hang on. Here we go. I haven't ever seen them either. And guess what? Neither has Michael or Matt. 
Okay, which leads us to believe we sat down, we did got the algorithms out, we had a whiteboard, we had like a calculator and a fucking sand timer doing this like that, <laughs> yeah, all over and over the whole time, That's and good. we concluded that Hamish and Andy may not be real people. And do, like, if, do you know what I mean, Matt? You're looking a little. Are you following? You've been seeing the, I'm the, the technology we have. It's crazy. You see holograms and shit. It looks like the real thing. They made a hologram of Tupac, I feel like years ago, like ten years ago, and made it look like he was performing on Who stage. Who knows if Tupac was That's even real? Ten years ago. So imagine now. So what we're saying is right. We have the technology to create these funny characters, and we don't even know if they're fucking real. <laughs> do we, Matt? No. Do we? So we thought we need to prove or disprove our theory. We need to figure out if they're fucking real people or if they are fucking holograms created by Rove McManus. So <laughs> this is what we've going. This is this is our goal. This is our plan on the hunt. We're going to send them two T-shirts, and that's going to say we are real people. We're going to send them that to them, and if they put the T-shirt on and send us a video saying. Hey guys, yes, we are real people. We're, whilst wearing the shirts, then we will believe that they are real people because holograms cannot wear shirts. It just falls straight off. Yeah, they and come like, straight down. Photo yeah, If they send us a photo, maybe. But there's such thing as Photoshop, so we don't want a photo. We prefer a video. So you're probably all thinking, how do we go about doing this? How, how do how do we go about getting a fucking video from Hamish and Andy saying that they're real wearing our shirts? Well, I'll tell you how. All right, today we ordered the shirts. Okay, so they're coming. Today also we took the first step in contacting them. I've emailed Andy's personal Instagram account, Hamish's personal Instagram account, and their main Instagram account, Hamish and Andy. All right, so I messaged this to Hamish. He hasn't seen it yet. Hey Hamish, we're Marty and Michael and we're a comedy duo from Brisbane. We often get referred to as the wish version of Hamish and Andy by our audience. We have come to realize that we don't even think you guys are real people and are in fact holograms. No one we know has ever even seen you guys in real life and come to think of it, we have never seen you guys in real life either. If we send you a shirt with the text, we are real on it, would you be willing to wear it and send us a video of you guys confirming that you are in fact real people? Holograms cannot wear shirts which would prove your existence. No reply to this will add further speculation that you are both, in fact, holograms invented by Rove McManus. Do you understand what I'm saying? This has been The Hunt. That was good. That's a great introduction to that part well done. of the show. You might have a case here because if you look up their bio, it says they're radio hosts. <laughs> They're tele they're Siri could be a radio host. Yeah, they're television hosts. So I've already debunked that now. They're not radios. And it says they're television hosts. <laughs> what? How can you fucking host a television cunt? You can't fucking... A TV sits in the lounge room. But it doesn't say they're real. <laughs> exactly, man. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. So we may not be the wish version of Hamish and Andy. We may be Hamish and fucking Andy. Holy shit, I didn't think about that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. You gotta climb the stairs. Oh my god. You gotta climb the stairs of knowledge. Climb From the now stairs. on, for the rest of the episode, you're Hamish, I'm Andy. And Matt is you, and. No, you can <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he keeps rubbing his hair. <laughs> Oh. Ow, my rib! Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, my fucking rib, dude! Oh, whoa. oh, whoa, whoa, okay, back to reality. All right, Hamish, what's the next segment? <laughs> and it's questions. Oh, from fucking questions, questions, you dogs. If you want your question answered, comment your question on this 
uh, video on YouTube. Even if you're listening on Spotify, sorry, I know you can't <clears throat> send in questions. Go to a Marty and Michael fully actual YouTube channel and comment your question there, and Matt will pick a few. Okay, Matt will pick a few, and we'll answer them the following week. Do you understand how it works? So we're going to answer questions from the season finale, season finale from last year when we had Jackson on. So we're going to answer some questions there. Should we invite um, questions to be asked on uh, the Instagram page as well? Yeah, they get lost a little bit, don't they? Yeah, well, yeah. like, would you rather? Because it's better to just go to one. Like, would you rather go to both or just... It'd be easy to go to one, but I guess if they end up there, I'll pull them. Okay, yeah. If you want to... Everyone's got YouTube. Everyone yeah, knows. Yeah, follow Marty and Michael Fully Actual on Instagram. Send them that way. Matt does that. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, that's right. We got the Instagram account. You can send them yeah, cause I don't, to that I can, Instagram account. I can monitor that. So yeah, don't fine. send them to Marty and Michael. Matt will be running that, minute. guys. So feel free to send whatever you want to that account as well. You can <laughs> send, like, yeah. Get, get fucked with it. No. <laughs> no. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. That's this is the fully actual podcast Instagram and I don't want anything in mine. Last time you said that, the world turned into a very dark, dark place. People started sending No some stop. fucked up videos. Stop. There were behaviors. We don't talk about it. There was So these are the questions coming. Alright, question one. Um why don't you guys buy an aircon unit and put it on the table for the next season? That is a wish. Because it's we too loud. That. I wish, yeah. That we, we tried to have the fan on. It's like... It's you can't not have too bad on. today. Yeah, it's, it's still, getting cooler, I'm, but... I'm, I'm, I'm used yeah. to it because I live in this fucking <laughs> oven. And yeah. yeah, I'm struggling, eh? I'm fucking burning. Yeah, you've got aircon at yours. <laughs> um, this came from uh, Doma... Oh, I'm going to say this wrong. Uh, Domas Burlis? No, nah, that's exactly how you say it. Yep, three times um, like that. But the reason we don't have an aircon is because it would mess with our sound. And so the boys won't sound very well. And it's going to cool down eventually. So hopefully in a month's time, it will oh, be, I can't wait be for winter, sweat dude. bucket. Winter's going to be so mm, hot. We can cuddle up together. Oh, oh snuggles. Yeah, bend you over. Ooh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, question number two. two from It's Cheesy. Um, how does Jackson O'Doy just roll in and look more professional than Marty and Michael on their own podcast? Uh, that's probably because we don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, we don't really act that professional either. Um, yeah, look, um, yeah, Jackson's like, he's a seasoned veteran, man. And we're fucking... Actually, I think I can answer this question. We actually asked him a fair few serious questions. I think I did as well. And so instead of... Um, being a, in a bit more of a comedic sense, he went a little bit serious with us. And Jackson's coming home, by the way. He's so fucking. Hot. He's in America right now. He's coming home, and we're gonna do some videos together. So, yes. Break that down, man. Break that down on your fans. <laughs> Next question is from El Baro Torres. Um, if you could live on any planet where you could thrive and survive, what planet would it be? Earth. Good. Good. God. There's no fucking people to hang out with on Mars, man. So if you if it couldn't be Earth, where would it be? Uh, I'd probably go fucking. Michael know, would be on the sun. <laughs> solar a solar system with a planet like Earth. Mm. There's yeah, a there's few of them out there. there. There's plenty out they're, there. Yeah, definitely. They're, and they're, they're, they're and definitely. I'd want like. Yeah, fuck it. I don't know. They de- there are aliens. Like the fuck. There are fucking aliens everywhere. It's it's we it's wholeheartedly real. believe this, and we're gonna try and prove it this year. After we finish our series, we're gonna go alien fucking hunting. You probably think I'm being sarcastic. Well, let me let me tell you something There's right some now. There's some hotspots in Australia. Cunt. They built we are the pyramids. fucking finding them. Trust, Trust me. The gods. I've already that, seen but- one. But you guys didn't believe me. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Next question. Um. Would either of you ever consider bringing your girlfriends on the podcast for an episode? Yeah, we've talked about it. I'd get fucking mon on. I don't know. I guess we could, we, she could come on for a quick interview and then we just ask her what it's like to, um, to be with me. I'm scared of her responses though. <laughs> <laughs> um, next question is from Darnim. Darnim. Um, when are we going to see Shammy and Jaden appear on the podcast? Tonight. We've asked them a few times. We yeah, just haven't gonna, linked up. Yeah, they were going to come down. They're very busy boys and the, it's only an hour and a bit away from each other. But like, just can't seem to fucking string it together. It's like, yeah, it's difficult because you come up, you do an hour podcast and you got to go back down. Like well, they we just, had something planned properly up here, like a proper mm-hmm. vid. But we normally go down to the Gold Coast when we film. We're we gonna, just had a, they just had a massive... Um, Increase in workload with opening up their yeah uh, they got their bar now lane. yeah which we're lane. going to this Friday really oh, yeah fuck we're going there this Friday oh no this Thursday I think I said to Jaden yeah this Thursday midday fuck yeah we're gonna get heaps of footage this week Matt next question and 
Um, next question is from Taylor Dow. Um, when fans approach you in public, is there a certain pet peeve that happens commonly? What's so that is mean? there something so is there something that it. commonly happens all the time that quite annoys you when people approach you in public? But they don't like they've got their phone out, they want to ask for a photo, but they don't. So then you're sort of left having this conversation, waiting for them to ask for the photo, but then they don't. So the conversation goes on for too long and there's awkward silences. And then like, you sort of like have to say, okay. You're leaning nice for to kiss. Meet you. And sometimes they're young, so it's awkward. Yeah, that. So, so if you see us, just come and get it. Just come say hi, get a photo. Straight no, up. No bloody worries. We ain't ever going to say no to you dogs. <laughs> Tell them that. Yeah. And more, oh, I guess this isn't fans, but it's like the awkwardness when you're in a room and your friends, are the, like the group are talking about you and they want to come up, but they don't. So you're sort of like left there hearing the discussion about them coming up or trying to get a friend to come up. I'm looking at you. And then you're like just sort of left there awkward while you're waiting for your food or something. Oh! Here we uh, <laughs> And that is the difference between Michael and myself. <laughs> Did I hear that correctly on the episode Jackson said he killed someone? Yeah, yep. Jackson has in fact murdered like two people i think you can pay for it in eastern europe yeah if you go, it's like you know in thailand you can get the rocket launchers and kill cows yeah i've seen this uh, what's that europe, movie called romania in eastern Fuck. europe they have like uh places hostel where, hostel yeah they've host they find homeless people and they take them to the hostel and yeah you no know, you can get babes as well dude like you pay, yeah straight up like fucking tens and kill them mm. You can do whatever you want to. <laughs> we think this is all unconfirmed, but just we're we're thinking out loud here. But yeah, you can. Um. Next question, um, also from Taylor. Now. Yes, Taylor. Yes, he's fine. Put two in there. Um, he's asking, how's he how's the engagement on this podcast so low? You boys are the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, you guys can explain we're, that. We're slowly getting there. This, it the takes bo- time. And look, we got fucking Manscaped on board this season, so it's getting there. And and the difference between season one and season two, it was pretty big. So we're hoping this year will be like the the year that the podcast fucking spreads, and you guys just fucking say, "Hey, have you heard about this podcast? This this guy, these guys are like on it." Yeah, they're like Hamish and Andy. Yeah, they're like Hamish. Also, and Andy. yeah, spread it around to your friends. Spread it like Corona. Yeah, if you just want to support us. But yeah, like if, you know, it's it's a slow grind. It's a podcast. It's not for everyone. And you look at and we've built our fan base on quick three minute prank compilations. And now this is now we're sitting here talking about fucking murder and fucking hot bitches and hostels count. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I got a question from Shanna Marie. It's more of a comment than a question, but she basically basically saying that she suffers pretty bad anxiety? from anxiety. Knew it. And um, I see a lot of comments from uh, from people saying that the same thing and how they feel about it, but she summed it up pretty well. But she's basically saying that um, watching you guys uh, helps her get through her day pretty well, and I see that from a lot of people. So I think she, well, fucking- I think she basically says thank you. Cool. To us. That's what we do. We're fucking doctors. We're here to heal people. And that's why we're dipping our toe into the medical marijuana as well because uh, the healing properties, let me tell you, they are beyond what uh, humans previously thought uh, to be possible. So just stay, stick around and uh, we'll show you. We've actually got some weed facts on our Instagram for that as well. Yeah, follow the... And we'll did we s- say that at the start? Yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll also be uh, selling some weed merch on there soon. So get, get, get on there, man. But yeah, thank you Any to that Any questions, girl. send them in. Thank you to that girl for leaving that lovely comment. Yeah. It's what we do, what we do. It makes it all worthwhile. Tell them, man. It does See? help. See? We just want to help. <laughs> Can you no. fart again? <sighs> Come on, man. You're out. He shouldn't have wasted. He did one just before we started. Oh, look, I was it, so grumpy at him. It doesn't. It's not. It doesn't work like that, is no, it? No. If it you suck him back up, they dwell. No, it, it soaks into my walls, <laughs> oh, in your organs, uh, and, okay. and is in my blood, and it comes out of my breath. Yeah. Okay. So I have to push it out. It stinks my whole body up. Yeah. Okay. Well, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, I get it. You know, if you rub garlic on the bottom of your foot, your breath smells. Bullshit. God damn it, Michael. That is the truth. Is it, Matt? I'll find out. Hmm. His end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your end. 
<laughs> and what is it? So cut may be the big explanation, but it is possible. That's fucked up. <laughs> just cut here yeah, into that. <laughs> cut the big explanation, but it is possible. <laughs> just cut everything I said. <laughs> That is we, fucked up. What, 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 we got a next segment, man. It's in Yui. It's German phrases. It's German phrases. Yes! All right. So one of our fans sent in like fucking, what do you, how many do you reckon there are? A hundred? Yeah. I think there's three. Oh, I don't know. There'll be about a lot. A lot of German phrases. I'm going to read them out and explain what they mean. Uh, there's, some of these are slang, so they won't translate literally um just yeah you you get it i'll do what four four you want me to do four is that fair yeah four three is a good number I'll, I'll go four though right, i'll take i could all do this all day fucking dogs love me speaking in german it's fucking weird but all right here we go <laughs> <clears throat> the um the first uh, phrase uh used by germans uh typically used in um arguments <laughs> When they're disagreeing with someone or when someone's annoying them. <clears throat> du gehst mir auf den Keks! <laughs> du gehst mir auf den Keks! Which means, which translates literally to, you go me on the cookie, but you, it means you're getting on my nerves. Oh my god! Du gehst mir auf den Keks! What the fuck? fuck. You wanted this, huh? Well, Everyone, yeah, yeah, you yeah. all wanted this! Yeah, okay, but I can still be mad at it. What's cookie? In German. Kicks! <laughs> <laughs> right, the next one, German phrase number two. <laughs> das passt auf keine Kuhhaut! Das passt auf keine Kuhhaut! 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 <laughs> oh, what the fuck does that mean? That fits on no cow skin. Jesus. Which is slang for... That's incredible. Bullshit. See? Oh my God. That's what God. it fucking means. actually says that. Yes. Why do you fucking have gibberish as your word? Gibberish is German. The, 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 the gibberish in English is the, is the slang that they're saying. You know, like fucking... It's like... It's like, it's like Australian. Oh, that fits slang. on no cow skin. Okay, okay. Think about some of the sayings that, that Aussies have. Like yeah, fucking... Yeah. Okay. You love fucking... Yeah. It's raining cats and dogs. Yeah, what the fuck, man? Yeah, okay. Yep, okay. But the original whatever you fucking said... That's sounded, off kind of cool out. That sounds ridiculous. Cool out. <laughs> cool out. <laughs> it's too much in one <laughs> Alright, the next one. Uh, phrase number three. Dein English ist einwand! Hang on. <laughs> Dein English ist einwand frei! Dein English ist einwand frei! Which means your English is one wall free, which means your English is pretty good. Have a look. Have a read. He doesn't believe me. One wall free is not even real. Why does fucking Germany decide to make Michael, up... Michael, Michael, we call our best friends cunts. Imagine what that's like to America. Which translates to pussy. Your English is pretty good is your English is one wall free. Dude, this is, this is different. All right, the last one for this episode. And uh, comment if you think we should continue these or not. We definitely... This is the best... Day ever. It's a little offensive. It's a little offensive how much everyone is laughing at my native tongue. All right? So, anyway, I'll continue. But just let me know if anyone else is offended. Because it uh, hurts my feelings. Du bist schwer in Ordnung. Du bist schwer in Ordnung. Which means you are heavy in order. Which means you are cool. <laughs> That's fucked up. Ich bin schwer in Ordnung. <laughs> Ordnung. 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 <laughs> Why is it Nunk? Dude, we're keeping these. These are sacred. These are sacred oh. fucking scrolls. You, can, you should just do a stand up where you read out this oh to my people. Oh, God. That is fucking. Nikki, you have saved the day. This is the best entertainment ever. <laughs> it's, it's just German phrases, everyone. And that's how you say them. That's how we all talk to each other. It's ridiculous. So, it's thank you. It's fucking man. ridiculous. It's, uh, it's, it's another language and it'd be nice if you respected that culture. So. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh my god anyway let's move right along here um we got two more segments left the first is you guys were busy sent us some shit during the holidays we appreciate that so it's time for the unboxing unboxing all right so we got sent this first this was sent Last year from season two, we just didn't get it and, and we waited for you. And it says, sent this. sorry if this letter is late. All right. So they are probably meant it to get to us for the season finale, but it didn't. Let's see what it contains. Oh. It's like a fuck. It sounds like the orcs from oh, Lord of the fuck. Rings. It's massive to my Aussie cobbers. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm 21 from the UK. I've been an enthusiastic devotee, oh, aka yeah. fan, of your channel on YouTube for quite a long while, ever since we first watched the f How to Stop Your Friend Eating Fast Food video. My voice hurts from that fucking German segment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's what fucking you get for ger being German. Excuse me. Of course, you, really, you guys can't you really fucking emphasize the germ whenever you say germ. <laughs> <laughs> Any YouTubers that inspire you to create your own content? Yeah, we, we loved Lorf growing up. He doesn't really make pranks anymore. We like fucking, um, uh, fucking, who do we fucking like? Uh, Ross Creations is a very good, funny, funny I guy. I just found this dude the other day called Danny, Danny Mullen. Duncan. Danny Mullen. Very funny. It's nearly like Rodney Mullen. Your, your mate Yeah I like Rodney Mullen Very good skater Um, Yeah just Prank channels And fucking shit like that eh? And lastly What advice would you give to others If they would Like to start Their own Job or business Don't fucking stop Just keep going You fucking don't st You can't fail If you don't stop Just keep going Until you get somewhere And if you And just know that you will Know that you will And you will If you have doubt You won't get there So just decide You're gonna get there And then do it What he said. Ham. <laughs> Thank you, Ham. Fucking hell, Ham. That is... Uh, it's good shit. We're going to leave this right here, Ham. It's hum. Thank you, Ham. You could, that makes some good uh, papers for cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, fucking... I've got... I keep all the letters. So whatever you send, this stays in a box. Shut your fucking mouth. Shut your mouth. You want to fucking write us a letter? Oh, you could have gone better, I reckon, but that was pretty good. Oh, 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 oh. he almost passed so out. Passing out of here, eh? Oh, fuck. Are you guys are sure this won't affect my future in any way? <laughs> Dude, it's beautiful. Is, right. it, is it like CT? Like get, he's getting hits in the head all the time? They get da brain damage? No, is, if he's to... doing that all the time, is he getting colon damage? Yeah, he's you know, fucking... To, my heart rate so is like probably 120 now. I have to push so hard. <laughs> yeah, Dude, I, I've seen your face. <laughs> It's like, it's, oh, seriously, it's like It'll probably kill me one day <laughs> Oh, you burst a blood vessel If you're going to send a shit We do prefer Presents Christmas presents <laughs> But oh, this That is was exciting. a lovely letter Thank This you. is exciting It could be anything in there It could be something very harmful Could be drugs <laughs> Have a little sip of my ginger beer, everyone Not a brand deal Oh my god, dude what It's a present within a present. Many presents within a present. Right, it's a little box. There's a little package this one's with Mario. You, Matthew? On it. Really? This one's to you. Oh, but I'll we'll have that. I'm very humbled when I get something. Is there Come something? Open it on oh. camera. Oh, fuck off, boys. I need socks. I've got socks. They're cow socks. I can't fuck these. I can put these on my dick when I'm fucking the cows. Dude, I've I got can... socks. What socks did I you get? I get pigs. Oh, pigs. I'm not fine, huh? Thank you for I'm Matthew Gregory Brown from Wholesome. He gonna, makes a lot of concrete. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to open Julian's. Oh, wait. we got a letter here too. I'm going to open Julian's because he's not here. <clears throat> Julian got a little pack of Skittles. Man, oh. I can't read cursive. Julian got a little pack of Skittles. What did you get, Matt? I got little sheeps. Oh, wow. I got little sheeps, eh? What little toy... Oh, socks as well. Julian, I'm having your present later when I'm stoned. Oh, very nice. Wow. Hey, my favorite legends. I just want to say 
how thankful I am for you guys and your content. You make me laugh so much and it makes all of my days better. <laughs> all of us in 2021, all the way from... Estonia. Estonia? No. Well, the socks are made in Slovakia. Yeah, Slovakia. Slovakia. Oh, all right, wow. fucking hell. And her Instagram is at the underscore juicy fruit. Didn't she ask some questions? Name rings Not juicy fruit, no. At the underscore juicy fruit, if you want to say thank you on our behalf. Thank you very much. Is, it... Is that what oh, you guys should do? Dude, his letter. Oh, sorry. Should you um? Should you have Marty and Michael socks, socks. with pictures of your heads on them? Great we're idea. gonna start our clothesline later this year, and we're thinking about um just having like fucking like if some of the shirts right with like just swears on them, like dumb cunt. <laughs> and so if you're a dumb cunt, you can buy it, or if you know a dumb cunt, you can buy one. Oh, don't touch me there. Or you can also put other swears on there, like f- fuck bitch, oh, fucked yeah. bitch. Look, they are odd. Yeah, that's mm. cute. Fucked bitch would be a good one, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll think about it. All right. Which brings us to our final segment. Oh, shit. The prank call. I don't know how this is going to go, guys, okay? Now, um, I'm going to call a real estate agent as Arnold Fine, and I'm going to start inquiring about houses to buy. I don't really know where this is going to go. I don't know what we're doing, but um, I'm going to... I don't know if this will continue either. I might try and think of something else if this doesn't work very well. No one knows anything. We're all in this together. Uh, Just have fun. Yeah, let's all just have fun with it. Um, And you know what? Like, just be open-minded because gay people are people too. Hello, Nathan speaking. Oh, hello, Nathan. My name is Arnold Fine. I... uh, Find your number on uh, the uh, Google. Uh, mm-hmm. I am uh, looking to uh, buy a house. Uh, I live uh, North Brisbane, renting at the moment, and i um, looking to uh, buy a house over the next uh, maybe uh, two, three months. Hello? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Where are you looking to buy a house? Sorry? Uh, North, North Brisbane area, and um, up North Brisbane, maybe, uh, how you say, Aspley, you write that down, Aspley, uh, Charmside, maybe, maybe a little further, maybe um, near Sanford. And uh, yeah, and I need a house with uh, land. Uh, I have a, a small, small pig collection. I breed pig, okay? I need a little land. Uh, and uh, and uh, maybe hmm, um, I don't know how big. Maybe uh, one half uh, soccer field sized land, maybe uh, for my peak. And uh, yeah, North Brisbane there. Yeah, okay, buddy. Yeah, can't help you. Sorry, mate. So uh, what? Don't really sell pig farms. No, no, uh, not uh, not a pig farm. I look for house with uh, with land to turn yeah. into a breed. Uh, you're better off looking to uh, to another agent. Sorry, buddy. Just I'd what if I li- what if I leave uh, the pig uh, current property, and I move my wife and myself into a new house, and uh, we yeah, leave. That'll work well. Hey, buddy. Look, you're wasting my time, and I do have to go. So thanks for the call, mate. Best of luck. Uh, what? <laughs> Do you reckon he knew? Is no it, one sounds that fucked. Was that too fucked sounding? No, it was just oh the current my current house sounded look, pretty fucked. Look, we're running very late, so we can't redo this prank call. But just know that will that get man, better. But that man, <laughs> he started a war there with Arnold Fine because that 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 is not that is not on. And and I I will be speaking to his superiors. Uh, I know where he works. Uh, so watch this space because I'm gonna get that guy fired. He sounded lovely. <laughs> he hung up on me, man. <laughs> he did. He had a kid in the background. He was trying to fucking feed. He was it. trying to breastfeed his kid. Yeah. Okay. He is a fucking creep. Now look. Um. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, look, there's hit and misses and we're fucking, we got to go play Toka. <laughs> look, the prank call, don't worry, okay? I'm, I'm going to, it's, it's going to get crazy. So just get ready. Arnold Fine will return and he will have his vengeance. Get a house. All right. 
Um, anyway, fucking tell your neighbours, tell your friends, tell your dad, tell your uncle we're back. Uh, watch come back next week. This is going to be the shit. This is the season that we make it, boys. This is the fucking season. And do you know why, Matthew? Huh? Why? Because we are the best. best. We're the best. best. We're the best. best. We're the best. best. We're the best. 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 best.